Hey everyone, Corey here, coming in to do the energy update for this coming weekend's energy. And I just feel like um, I really wanted to add, uh, like really bring one in for this weekend because the energy is really, truly speaking. Now this week has, um, depend on your beliefs and depend on who you, who and what you support. It could have been a really good week or it could have been a very disappointing week. Um, but I've said this and I'll say this again, that beyond this energy and in this energy is beauty. And there is something beautiful that is unfolding, even though you cannot see it and we're not, will not see it. But I have to ask, what about faith? And so sometimes it's so easy to get lost and lose our sense of faith. And there's divine faith. And if we really, truly believe in trusting the universe, then you have to trust the universe is having everything working out and that all things are working itself out. And no matter what it is, it's like a splinter and things sometimes have to fester and some, some things have to change, but it is an eye opener to the, to the way we treat each other as a human race. Um, and I think it's really time that we really look at that, that the divide and the division is everywhere and you see it so much. You see it in spirituality. You see astrologers now fighting over things. You see the battle of the, the conflict. It's like, what if there's more than one truth? And what if there's so many truths? And, you know, we live in we live in this time frame that we have here. And four years is goes by pretty fast. And it's like, what if? You know, there's so many what ifs. And there's many things that are really, truly bringing in and putting a really bright light up on um, emotional intelligence, emotional healing, um, how we show up in the world and how we show up as humans and where's our love and where is the love and what it's like, how we behave and respond when things don't go our way. It's a big influencing energy and it's being kind of brought to the forefront in the energy that's coming in that does speak about us really truly paying attention about leveling up. We are seeing the same kind of energy that we have seen in cycles that we have seen unfolding over the past that we have seen during the whole COVID run between the last elections. I'm not an American, so I am an observer. And, um, and so I'm only, I read energy. I see what is being given to me. And, um, and there's so much that's beyond the veils that are, that are to unfold and to come. And, um, it's so, you just don't know. And, um, and so there's, there is more to reveal itself, but they are bringing up and what's coming up today is if we, if we look at the micro is how do we show up? How do we show up in conflict? How do we show up in, uh, in when the universe is, when the world is not going our way, when we're not getting what we want? And are we really truly existent in a world that's full of shadows, right? And so it's when you're watching the dance of shadow energy and you see the shadow energy that's dancing around, when I can see it coming from, when I can see the shadow aspects of, of the energy and it's revealing itself, it says, before we get to the light, before we see the light of things, you're going to see the worst of, you're going to see the dark of things. So you're going to see the worst of humanity. You're going to see the worst of people's behaviors, but there's an upside to all of this. We're not seeing things unfold. We haven't seen things unfold quite as bad as they did over the past few years when things have been an upset, a disappointment or an injustice that we haven't seen the, we haven't seen the chaoticness in the same way that we were seeing it before. And so there is more and more light, true light that is coming in and being and influencing us as a human race than it was previously, that we don't have as much of the influence of the, um, of the imitation light of what I call the imitation and of the shadow self. We're not, we're not quite responding the same way, which means as a human race, we're leveling up, we're maturing, we're growing up, we're seeing a difference unfolding, but we're still seeing the, the back and forth banter. We're seeing the arguments. We're witnessing that energy. We're seeing all of that unfold, but does it really have 
a space in our hearts the same way does it that it did before are we getting consumed in it are we getting lost in it yes in certain areas and so pay attention to where you are getting consumed or lost in some of this energy and also pay attention to how you show up in the world this weekend um now i can't help but smile because it does feel good it does feel like we're on our way to something. We're on our way to something that is much more beautiful. There is a lotus opening. There is a phoenix rising. And I keep seeing the phoenix rising. I keep seeing the lotus open. There is a shift. And it takes both masculine and feminine energy to bring about those big changes. And wishing worst harm upon people or wishing the worst upon people is not a good way for us to begin to move forward. Now on the 19th, we're going to bear witness to a big shift, a big planetary shift. And it ends the, a 15 year cycle that's been happening. Many of us has felt the struggle of that 15 years, that 15 year struggle. We have felt things that has, you know, kind of taken us on a dark night of the soul journey for 15 years. <laughs> and it does feel like it's the rise coming back. And so there is the beginning of a rise that is coming in. So if we let if we let things kind of take our joy and our satisfaction of feeling like we are being accomplished or that things are turning around or that you're feeling some sort of comeback in yourself, don't let stuff like politics take that away from you again. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it because there isn't there is agendas and there's lives and there's ways that things are unfolding that doesn't really always work in alignment to us. Um, and so your personal life, your community, your people, uh, the people that you surround yourself with, the people that are out there are all there to kind of come back together. And so if we start to work in the micro instead of in the macro, we're going to see big changes happening everywhere in our lives and all around. So this weekend's energy does hold a lot of powerful punch of being able to bring in a sense of uh, there's light. I see it. I see the angels coming. I see Archangel Michael appearing, but I also see the gentleness, the softness of something beautiful. So if you can be anything this weekend, be gentle, be soft, be kind, turn off your phones, turn off your devices, get out in nature get outside, go out into a group, become a part of a group this weekend. Do something that reminds us that that our neighbors, our people in our lives are not as bad as what we have been telling ourselves, that human connection is not a bad thing, that we can all come together. I send you so much love. Have a beautiful weekend and I will chat with you soon. Bye-bye.